DE Vargas Falcha Rolf, uh, decided to put this together over the summer in COVID-19 to help teachers and students with a plan for the relatively new junior cycle business. Right, so just to take you through a few bits. Um, the book that we're planning to use this year is called John Taylor's uh, Smart Business. Um, it's nicely laid out. So it has all of your different strands laid out. And the junior cycle now is broken into three strands. So the first strand is personal finance, second is enterprise, third is our economy. And you'll see this book if you move forward, you have a list there of all the learning how outcomes and how to link them within the different chapters within the book. Okay, and then you'll also see how it, how it deals with junior cycle skills. So there's a list of junior cycle key skills that teachers are encouraged to use in every classroom, and that includes managing information and thinking. For example, students are asked to take more responsibility for their work, uh, group work, uh, presentations, um, organizing their folders, et cetera, et cetera. Um, communication, verbal and nonverbal. Staying well is all about well-being and positivity. Um, being numerous in business, we use maths and problem solving quite a lot through the accounting element um, in business. Being literate, uh, while you're using Google Docs and in class, you've got keywords in Google Docs, you've got spelling and grammar checks. There's plenty of software for that. And there's also plenty of guides in class to help you with your literacy and being creative. So students are given student voice and also allowed the opportunity to be creative within their presentations and what they present back to teacher. And then working with others is another key component. And um, that doesn't mean they're working together all the time, but it means a part of, 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 of lessons is where students will be sitting together in groups of four, no more than four, and working together. Um, and then you've got various different chapters uh, outlined then um, all the way through. So it's a comprehensive book, uh, Smart Business by John Taylor. Okay, so to help now with planning, um, we'll look at uh, the first year uh, plans for business studies and this is again for junior cycle business so August to midterm you have an eight, eight week period there and within that um, we'll be doing resources house household income expenditure household budgeting and then from November to Christmas we'll be doing personal finance consumer rights and responsibilities assisting and supporting the consumer ethical and sustainable consumption um, January, you can read for yourself there. February to Easter, again, you can read for yourself there six weeks. And then Easter to summer, six weeks. I won't bore you by reading out each element. Okay, so second year business studies then. And again, we'll be going through this again in more detail in class. So second year, there's an eight week period again, August to midterm, start with enterprise. Um, and tying that in with work and employment, employers, employees, and taxation. November to, the, to Christmas, seven weeks. And again, there's a list of items there that we'll be covering. And then January to midterm, again, a six week period, and we're recording household income expenditures. So that's part of the accounting and mathematical numerical side of, of business we'll be dealing with. And February to Easter, we'll be doing a business plan, an introduction to accounts. And then Easter and summer, the introduction to economics. As you might not be aware, uh, business is a great subject. It's comprising of accountancy, economics, and business studies. Um, so there's the economics element, and that leads on to, we do economics uh, in TY often uh, in school, and then obviously it's a brilliant subject as well, then in the Leaving Cert for your education and for jobs um, when you leave. Okay, business studies third year uh, plan then. So in the first eight weeks, will be preparation and analysis of final accounts. Final accounts is accountancy, the final accounts of accounts. Um, and next seven weeks then is going to be about demand and supply, government revenue and expenditure. Um, January to February, economics and international trade. February to Easter, the EU, economic in indicators, economic issues and policies. And then um, all being equal, we'd we'll be revising then for the last uh, six weeks uh, in third year. Um, and that'll include uh, different assessments and, and exam papers. Um, and of course, this is just a framework, a plan 
uh, things chop and change, uh, time changes. Um, so it's a, a working plan, but it's open to changes. Okay, so moving on then. Um, you finally put my, a website together for teachers and students. And if you type in mrmcgarry.weebly.com um, and then you come into junior cycle business, you'll see there's um, outlines and, and resources for first year, second year, and third year. Um, for business, you'll see extra notes unit by unit, loads of resources, uh, also for Lumen Start Business. And then economics, same idea. When you click on economics, you have loads of resources etc uh, within that same for French okay so okay moving on now to how assessments have changed for the new relatively new junior cycle business course so with the new course we have uh, assessments called class-based assessments so you'll see here on the screen you've got class-based assessment number one that's business in action and it's a group project based on one of three options so, and you've student preparation dur during a maximum of four weeks with support and guidance from the teacher, and it's completed towards the end of year two. And in your class-based assessment two presentation, so you have to present for that one, individual presentation and investigation on a business-related topic during a maximum of three weeks with support and guidance from the teacher, and that will be completed by the end of year three. Okay, so CBA1, Business in Action, um, as part of that, research is part of that, action plans, reporting and evaluating and reflecting uh, is part of all these new assessments as well. So you could have enterprise in action, business in action, finance in action. You can choose from any of those areas. Okay, so just going through your different project options. Yeah, depending on the different sections that we mentioned before within the book and then Class-based assessment two for presentations. Um, again, investigation, making uh, judgments, um, communicating. Okay, and that will move us on forward and nicely to the assessment task, which is another new big uh, assessment feature for junior cycle business. So students will complete a written assessment task, AT for short, in third year, and this will be submitted to the Examinations Commission. It'll account for 10% of the overall um, marks for business studies, with the other written examination comprising of the other 90%. Okay, the assessment task is directly related to the nature and focus of CBA2. Its purpose is to enable students to undertake a focused reflection on the individual presentation they make for CBA2. Specifically, students will be assessed in their ability to evaluate, to reflect. So reflections, again, are a big part of, of, of that. And okay, so moving on. The first stage, 40 minutes is used for preparation purposes. 40 minutes is used for writing their responses to tasks. It's completed over 80 minutes. Okay, so over two, two class periods, approximately, um, depending on if your class are an hour uh, long. Again, probably two classes for that. Okay. First stage, discussion and reflection. So again, you mentioned already, so you want to be discussing, um, first of all, all your, your CBA and your presentation with uh, your group members and also with your teacher. And then you reflect, again, have discussion with your group members and then reflect um, yourself. Again, talk to the teacher as well for help. And then you, you'll do up your reflection step. Okay, and this is all part of the assessment task. And then you put a booklet together. It's all part of the same thing. And you submit that then for to the teacher. Okay, and again, if you have any questions, you can email me um, to my email address, school, school email address, 